Hey folks, how you doing? This is Todd, and I uh, thought I'd do a little version of Todd's Rocks here for you. I've got some interesting prospects here laid out. I'm going to do a little water. The water thing is kind of so they'll look cool. The, uh, a lot of times, uh, rocks, they're all dirty and stuff, hanging on the ground as they do. They, uh, they don't really show their true colors, but uh, you add a little water on there, and I think they're just so happy to get some moisture that they show off. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we got in here. Like, uh, gotta make those old man sounds. Here we go. Now, uh, here's a, I, I like this kind of rock. This, this, my, probably most of this kind of rock here. This kind of rock and this with the uh, pieces of, uh, I believe that's probably quartz, sandstone possibly, some black uh, things, maybe mica. This is mostly got the white and the uh, pinkish stone. Here's here's a big quartz thing. That's the, uh, I call that the question of the uh, quotation marks. It's like a little glyph of quotation. Now this is a cool one here. I gotta get this wetter. Uh, I don't name all my stones or anything like that, but uh, I call this the Black Widow Stone because I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a red mark right in the middle there. It's a kind of a really dark, dark gray stone, almost black, but not like coal. But it's got like a, clean that off a little bit there. First I get them dirty and then I get them clean. Isn't that funny? That's the back of the stone. Not really much going on there, but on the, this is the front. Let's get that little thing. Let's do it upside. If you see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a a, uh, a comma in the middle of their red comma. That's neat. Uh, these other ones are kind of cool. This is uh, again we have the line of quartz going through the the uh, rock, which it, this is actually looks kind of kind of like a quartzy rock too. You know, quartz has kind of like a shiny thing to it, and uh, that looks like. And, and look at this one. This is like. I call this my Salvador Dali rock. Nah, just kidding. It's it's got a cool hole in the middle, and uh, see, she might be able to make a whistle out of that. But you know, you wouldn't want to really put your mouth on it until you um, boiled it or something like that. You know, or if you're a guy, you wouldn't give a shit, so you'd just do it anyways. But look at that. It's kind of kind of cool. Let's get some light through the thing there. Neat rock. Neat rock. Okay, there's some other rocks around here. Let me get up. And uh, give you a little look at them. Let's see, this is the, the path that I've uh, I've come down here, or come up. Uh, it's a lot of uh, scree, a lot of uh, juniper trees, some brush. All this area uh, in the brush will probably be uh, um, nice and leafy uh, come uh, come springtime. We're a little pre-spring here. This is the path that I'm going to follow. Uh, down uh, to, to another place where I want to go, but I just wanted to give you a little look-see at uh, some of the other rocks we have around here. This is uh, Garden of the Gods, and uh, there we're probably what maybe six miles outside of Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is kind of over. Can you see my finger there? It is. Uh, it's kind of over there, uh, kind of spread out. Um, Pike's Peak is up that away. Uh, can't see it from here. Uh, I might go to the top of the hill, see what's up there, but from here I get a nice view of the, uh, the rock formations. This, the first one on the far left, I believe, the, the whole rock is the north, north something, and then the, the one in the middle is the south, and then down below there's lots of, they all, all those formations have names, like the, uh, Kissing Camels, that's in the middle area there. Uh, this uh, a thing called White Rock, which I'll show you in a bit. That's on the other side of that rock there, but it is actually a white rock. Uh, not, you know, marble white, but pretty dang white. Uh, the sky is pretty clear. Yeah, we got some clearness going on here. Where is, if you look over there, that is Cheyenne Mountain with NORAD uh, within it. 
and uh, that's those towers that you can see, barely see in the distance. I could maybe do a little fo of zooming. Uh, are the uh, the towers, the radio towers, and all that kind of secret towers that uh, they use? It's a little closer. Let's see if we can get a focus. Can you do a focus? Can you do a focus? Yes, you can. But are you doing it? I don't know. Anyways, uh, get a little close-up view of some of the formations here. I'm not sure if we're actually... I better go back a little bit for that one. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful day. Well, all right, I'm going to uh, continue my, my little stroll. I said normal. And the world didn't explode. Beautiful day. Very calm. Uh, a very calm day as far as the Colorado wind goes. The Colorado wind is always, always present. If it's not here, wait 10 minutes and you'll get some wind. Uh, but right now it's very calm. A little bit of a breeze. Nice cooling breeze. Kind of cools the sweat as it forms. Which can be kind of dangerous hiking. you got to uh, keep... Um, well watered, well, uh, what do they call it, uh, hydrated, yeah, I keep well hydrated. I bring ice in a thing without any water in it and it melts into ice water, which is really cool. What I should do if, when I do find a place to stay besides my car is uh, freeze a, like, uh, I don't know, a 32, gallon, a 32 ounce jug of water, like three quarters full, and then that'll last, you know, all day long cold as hell, but I just won't put it next to my skin. All right, so uh, I'm going to start out here, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit.